Hi guys! Today I want to make a video about some of my favorite books. I thought this might be interesting for you guys because my channel is quite new and I thought it would give you a nice overview and idea of what kind of books I like. Obviously I recommend all of these books very highly and without much further ado let's get into some of these books. The first book I want to mention is The Penelopead by Margaret Atwood. This book is essentially a retelling of the Odyssey from Homer from the perspective of Odyssey's wife, Penelope. This deals with Penelope first moving to the palace of Ithaca after first marrying Odysseus, how she has to deal with her in-laws there while her husband is off fighting the Trojan War, she has to deal with an angry teenage son, and if all of this wasn't enough, she also has some suitors banging at her door telling her why don't you marry me because probably Odyssey is dead by now. Um, I found this at times hilarious but also really serious and I think it's a very true retelling and it shows us how these ancient people and in instance this ancient woman is just not so far away from us today and it also has this quite sarcastic tone that's very typical for Margaret Atwood's writing, which I think fits pretty well here. This book is really short, it's just over 200 pages and there's a lot in it for 200 pages. There's also some really clever thing that Margaret Atwood is using. She has some sections in between chapters where she mimics some um, styles that were used in Greek drama. So if you would have like a really serious drama going on, there would be curtain and then there would be like a small interlude of people making fun of what just happened so like a satire of what just happened or there would be chanting choruses and this is all stuff that she's using in this book in between and to kind of comment on what just happened and this was really surprising at first but then she talks about it in length in her afterward and it's super super interesting so i thought that was really clever so yeah that's The Penelope Ad by Margaret Atwood, and I really recommend it. The second book I want to talk about is called Réparer les vivants by Maëlys de Kirongal. So I believe it came out in English also, and it's called The Heart, or Mend the Living, depending US or UK, I don't remember. This book plays in the northwest coast of France, Normandy, I don't know if you know. And it starts with this young boy, Simon, who is off with his friends to surf very early in the morning because he wants to catch the best wave. And very suddenly a tragedy happens and he has an accident and he ends up being in a coma. The whole book spans between the time of Simon's death until um, his heart gets transplanted into an elderly lady. So it's about this journey of this heart and all the people that are somehow involved in it. So it goes from Simon, his coma, and then how his parents have to deal with the situation, how ultimately they come to the agreement that they want to give the heart out for transplant. There's also a lot of really interesting things about how organ transplant works. And I read in an interview by the author that she was actually researching that quite intensely and you can really see it. And then going off from the transplant to all these procedures and the doctors involved. And then at the end to this elderly lady and how she deals with the fact that she is given another chance through this young boy that died. And she's also dealing with how she can ever repay something like this. This book is really heartbreaking and sad, but also really informative, as I just said. It's a lot about what is a life worth and what is a body worth and how you can save somebody just with your body and if you're dead you might save someone. It's just really beautiful. It's really beautifully written. I was just in awe the whole time I was reading it. I read it in French but I can assume that probably the English translation is not so bad because I've heard people talk about it and having read the, the English version. And yeah, I just cannot recommend this book enough. It's amazing. The third book I want to mention that I really like is Educated by Tara Westover. I read this recently 
and um, I believe it's been going on on booktube quite a while. This is a memoir and it tells of Tara Westover growing up in a rural part of Idaho in the United States. She is brought up in this family of survivalists, so they don't believe in government system, in um, education, so in the school system and the medical system, and it's how she grows up and how she also takes the decision to leave this way of life behind and get an education because she hasn't been to school I think until she was like a teenager or something. It raises so many questions about how important is family and how far would you go for your family, how strong are family ties even if they're really toxic for you. Can we go against something we were taught from very early on? This book was really scary at times. I felt really empathetic for Tara and for her family members and I really appreciated the message that it gives about the importance of education. So I recommend this to anyone, pretty much. The next book is The Arrival by Sean Tan. This is a graphic novel and this tells the story of an a man who is immigrating from an unnamed country to another due to some um, circumstances that put him and his family at risk and it's about him trying to find its place in his new surroundings and this is such a powerful book. It, the artwork is absolutely beautiful, it's in these sepia tones that reminds of old photographs and um, it deals with so many universal topics like feeling foreign or alien, trying to find your place somewhere new, um, dealing with homesickness, but also meeting really helpful people that actually want to help you to feel better in these new surroundings. And um, what makes it also so beautiful is that it's drawn in this way that it feels so universal. So whether you're um, moving somewhere new or you're going abroad or you're moving countries, um, this is just something anybody can get something out of. And it, it just gave me a really big um, book hangover and I wanted to put this into anybody's hands, which I did partly. Um, I cannot recommend this graphic novel enough and I think it's for everyone. The next book I want to mention is The Tidal Zone by Sarah Moss. This really packed a punch. Um, this really went straight to my heart and I will tell you why. So this is about a father, Adam, who is one day called at home from school and it turns out his daughter Miriam collapsed and her heart stopped for a while. Of course then um, the medics take her and they get her her to the hospital but nobody can figure out why this happened and if this could happen again in the future. This story is very much centered on the family dynamics, something I really like in books, and it's about how the different members of the family deal with this situation, this uncertain situation of something could be happening again. So we have Adam the father, um, the mother who is a doctor and is quite a busy person. Then we have Miriam and her youngest sister. This book deals with family but also how we deal with something tragic happening. It's a lot about parenthood and how you realize your own mortality and the mortality of your children, how you deal with that and how sometimes just one small event can just turn your whole life upside down. I really like Sarah Moss's writing. It's very poetic but it's also really true and raw sometimes and I think it fitted quite well with this topic. I also liked some um, in-between chapters about the father, Adam, who is a um, stay-at-home dad but used to be in the academic field, I think in history or so, and um, there's also a lot of little insider jokes about being in academia and the hierarchy there and so and as I am also in academia myself, I totally got these puns and um, I was reading them at the right time, so this was also quite appreciated. Um, but regardless, this book is really amazing. 
I would recommend it to anyone and it left a quite big impact on me. Finally, the last book I want to mention today is probably one of my all-time favorite books and it's And There Were None by Agatha Christie. You might remember me saying that I really love Agatha Christie. This is the first Christie I ever read. Uh, my mom gave it to me and I read it in French originally and it's one of these books where I wish I could go back in time and feel the way I felt when I read it for the first time because it's never going to be the same again. This plays in a remote island off the coast of Devon in England and you have 10 people traveling to this island where there's only a lonely mansion. They don't know each other but they were invited by this very mysterious host. They get there and start off having dinner, still waiting for their host who somehow doesn't show up. But then suddenly a gramophone starts and on it is a voice that starts accusing each and every one of them to be responsible for someone's death. At first they all think it's probably a joke, but then one by one people start dying. This is so gripping. It's amazing. I really, like I said, I wish I could read this again for the first time because now obviously I know what's going on. Um, I love this idea that it's about seclusion and the paranoia that comes from it, how people start accusing each other and not trusting each other anymore. And it also has this really British feel to it and this suppression of emotion that then suddenly burst out that I really, really love about this book. And I recommend this to anyone who just a little bit likes mysteries or thrillers. It's amazing. So that's it guys, that was the six books I wanted to talk to you about that are among my favorite books. Please let me know if you have read any of these, if you like them as well, what you thought of them. I would love to hear from you in the comments. If you have any recommendations, definitely I'll take any if you say this is very similar to one of the books that I mentioned. If you're new here, hi, so nice to see you. Subscribe if you like this video and until next time, bye!